This video shows a demonstration of two autonomous planes being tasked to collaboratively complete missions using Java. Camp Roberts, located in Central California, is the site of the test. Before the planes go into the air, we need to test them in a simulation, which we call hardware in the loop. In this test, an airplane simulator provides position and orientation data to the Piccolo autopilot. Therefore, the autopilot thinks it is flying and executes all commands as it would during a real experiment. The only component missing is the physical UAV itself. Both planes are in there. They're loitering around like 151. Uh, okay. Go ahead and start the experiment. Okay, so we're going to start up two processes right now. Yeah. So, we're running on both of these planes, run all. Jerry is commanding the planes by setting the points on the Java GUI. Steve is verifying that the software is working and there are no mission critical problems. Okay, so let's start up the Java processes. Okay, go for it. Make sure they start, load for a while. Okay, and let's start up the GUI. So the purpose of the hardware in the loop uh, is to first, uh, the test is to first show that we can run this in a simulation before we send it up into the air. Okay, so we're ready to test. Alright. Okay. Yeah, looks like they're both Alright, let's send the first two points. Yeah. Okay, we're sending two points now. Ready, here we go. Okay, let's send. bring it down and see if they're taking it. Okay, so one Okay, let's take they both took yeah, yeah. Both taking one of the points. Okay. Let's wait until they finish and loiter again. So we've sent two tasks. This is a practice of exactly what we're going to do right when we're out flying. So we've first sent two tasks, waiting for the two planes to uh, finish them, and then we're going to send two more after they've finished. Okay, they're both in loader mode. Okay. okay now so let's send, send two more. Send three and four. Okay, we're sending two right now. Okay. Got okay, now let's put something right now. It's five and six, so uh, this is about halfway down the runway, which is five. So while two tasks are active and planes are trying to finish them, we're going to send more points. So we're going to put four tasks in the queue. Okay, five and six have been sent. Okay. We're still heading to the first two points. Okay, so let's just sit and wait. Um, and right here I'm just monitoring, monitoring the, um, the package that gets sent to point. This is All right, they should have finished by now. Okay, both of them are loaded. Okay, yep. let's send the last mission is three tasks. Okay, we're cleared the, we're finished with the experiment. Okay. Ready to land. We have verified that the software works and the hardware, which consists of the PC-104 stack and the Piccolo autopilot, is ready to be placed in the actual UAV. Now the plane has been loaded and is ready to go up in the air. The team is setting up the computers on the flight line. Steve is in charge of the safety of the mission, while Jerry and Bill are in charge of tasking the planes and collecting data. Um, to start off, like, so we ran some tests in the uh, in the trailer for HIL. We put the stacks into the hangar. In the hangar, we put them into the plane. And over here, we're just going to run some tests, make sure everything's still uh, working right before we take off. Before the planes take off, Gabe verifies the structural soundness of the plane and its ability to receive commands remotely. Gabe goes through final flight check of all mechanical actuators and sensors and checks communication links with the ground computers.
In this test, one plane is on the ground running hardware in the loop, while the other plane is in the air. However, both planes are collaborating to complete tasks. To reduce the risks of the experiment, several checks must be made before setting planes into the air. Before setting both planes in the air, hardware and communication is verified first with one plane grounded while the other flies around. Before the planes fly autonomously, the pilot, Will, manually takes the plane off the ground. After control surfaces are calibrated, Will switches the control of the plane to the autopilot. Timing data is collected to measure the performance of the real-time Java virtual machine. While in flight, the planes are communicating every second to each other to broadcast their status in the plane network. All right, I'm going to send it two more points again. OK, one has not achieved its, uh, hasn't come. Oh, that's right. Sorry. It's OK, they're, okay, they're both done now. All right. 54. OK, so right now I'm sending it to two points uh, using the Java GUI, uh, and it's communicating with the plane. And this plane down here, they're both collaborating right now to run tasks. So I'm sending another one, another batch. Both planes should have taken each. Four points acquired. Yep, and then I'm going to put. Okay, and then so four are in the queue right now. Okay. Does it take two? So what's going on is I've just sent um, a whole host of points to it. So right now there's a lot in the queue, and the two plans are deciding which points are going to take which command. Um, that one flying, we're keeping it near us so we can like watch it. And um, so far, uh, and Steve is monitoring the progress of what's going on. So right now it looks like the experiment's going well. So, okay. So right now we've finished the experiment and we've ceded control over to Steve. So what that means is now I'm done sending tasks, mm -hmm. which um, get sent up to the uh, to the planes, control, and then so yeah. now he has control mm -hmm. and he'll shift it over to Will, who will uh, manually land the plane.